Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we write copy for breakfast cereals. I'm your host, E, and today we're talking about the reboot of Old Yeller. For those of you who are new around here, I need to let you know there's going to be spoilers for all of Stephen King's book in this series. So, if you haven't read all of his stuff, you might want to click away now. In my original theory video for Cujo, which is what we're talking about today, I stated that I thought the monster in Tad's closet was Pennywise. But let's hear it directly from the source. My theory is, as far as I know, not impossible. Firstly, Cujo's behavior in the book is constantly referred to as odd. This is aside from the fact that he has rabies. Many times characters in the book refer to Cujo as more than just a sick dog. Secondly, the closet. There's something living in Tad's closet. This is made cement at the end of the book when Tad's father, Vic, watches the doorknob turn and the door open all by its lonesome. Finally, Frank Dodd is called the monster of Castle Rock at the beginning of the book, and then King goes on to say that that monster returns in 1980. A monster. A monster that can take different forms. A monster that is active in Castle Rock during the time Pennywise is supposedly asleep in Derry. A monster that changes shapes. See where I'm going with this? My theory is, okay, first, I don't agree with past me. I don't think that Cujo had anything to do with Pennywise, but I think that the thing living in Tad's closet could have been Pennywise. Now, how wide, we, we, we have to think about how wide Pennywise's reach is, and again, we have to go back and think about how wide the Tommyknocker's reach is. Is it possible that the thing that was terrorizing Castle Rock during the time that Cujo happened is the same entity from it? Is it possible? Who knows? That boy do like talking with his hands, don't he? Again, these are all theories, and I'm still of the mindset that the thing in Tad's closet might be Pennywise or something like Pennywise. As we know from future books, Pennywise is not the only one of his kind. But again, could it be? Sure, because King never explains what Pennywise does during his hibernation. Again, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this because the last time I brought this up, no one disagreed with me. So if you have a theory on what the thing in Tad's closet might be, whether it is Frank Dodd or some other entity, let me know down there in those comments. Another option from the original video that I liked was Tad's closet might actually be a thinny. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one. And finally, some ties into the rest of Stephen King's catalog. Johnny Smith from the Dead Zone is mentioned in Cujo, and we can't forget about everybody's favorite sheriff, George Bannerman. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if I made any mistakes, or you have your own theories, please leave them down there in the comments below. But until next time... All hail the